the the tower was there, there for a longer period of time, they started at but they year, added the 5G components, and you can see the tower there. We did a video on this about a month ago. So we got three schools in close proximity of this tower. We're going to do readings today with our with our EMF reader. It's not on yet, but if you're over 0.5, you're in the adverse health effects. If you get up to 6, you're in the extreme adverse health effects for non-thermal EMF radiation. We have a post on National Citizens Alliance talking about what the, what the different levels mean. This is non-thermal, so we're going to register that close up. A lot of school kids walk along that side there, so we're going to get a reading of that. Right now, this 5G is, isn't live, and we believe it's operating at a 4G capacity. As you can see, there's a nice residential area here. There's one of the schools. It's an elementary school. We're going we're gonna to get some readings from. In terms of the meter, we want to keep this a, about a foot away from the camera. Otherwise, you're going to influence the reading. So that's 30 centimeters. So that's about a foot there. As long as we're within a foot, uh, the phone, the radiation, the EMF from the phone will not affect the meter. Remember that, everyone. That's in the guidelines of operating this meter. So uh, we got a team of people here today, and we're going to walk around, and we're going to give you the reality of what's going on. So I'm going to start the meter to get our base reading here. And keep in mind, everyone, these are base readings. Once 5G is live, we will be back here doing measurements. Yeah. And we will be upgrading this to uh, a 60 gigahertz device, because that's what uh, 5G will eventually go up to. So we're gonna spend about $20,000 and get one of those devices so we can do the proper measurements once it's live. But these are base readings right now. So I'm doing readings facing, facing this 5G tower. And we're in extreme range right now of, it's 3.81, 3.92 volts per meter. Get you see that there? That's, that's what these people are getting radiated. Kids are walking across here. It's at 5.0 max. If you can see that there and we're at around a thousand non-thermal which is microwatts per square meter which is the maximum in a public area already everyone yeah, okay. so this is troubling yeah so we're at 5.3 kids are walking here every day so let's go across to the school Well, that's pretty stuck there at five. It's emanating a lot of radiation. The power output is outrageous. It's going up, up to 4,000. Up to, it's pulsating and that's one of the, that's one of the damaging, biological damaging features of this EMF radiation. It's coming at you at different pulsations. I've gotten a figure as as uh, close to 4,000 there, non-thermal. So that's over the public acceptable range for that, according to the bio initiative. So let's go to the school here a bit closer. So these kids are walking right along here. Yeah. Oh my God! In the school for almost eight hours or something. Yeah, look yeah. at that. The kids are walking here every day. They drop sandwiches, and parents are coming along. These are elementary school kids, and we're st it's at 5.0 there. It's come down a bit because that tower is not fully operational. We're getting readings of two, so it's come down a bit because we're a bit further away. That we're still up in um, three. Two, it's still in a danger zone. Four, it's pulsating at these young kids. You see that there? Three, four, the pulsations on, on these young kids walking here. 
And there's the school there. You want to zoom in on that? Yeah. Right there. It's called the Northwest Elementary Campus. You see that there? Can you hold it in? Did you zoom in on yeah, it? Yeah, I zoom on Just that. hold it so they can read it. Okay, let's go through here quickly to this other school. I'm going to shut this off. But these are these are very low level base readings right now. They're still in the adverse health effects right now for non-thermal. Health Canada has completely ignored this each year. Yep. So has the previous federal government and the current federal government. They completely ignored it. We did a post on National Citizens Alliance documenting that. Unbelievable. This is unbelievable what's going on. Here's the second school. not bad here it's actually below the adverse range right now it's around actually up to 0.8 it's still in the adverse range but it's dropped a lot but that tower is not fully operational over there so we're gonna have to monitor these readings they're still above what safe, safe, safe levels safe levels exactly so we're going to monitor that. Let's go over to this school. Again, we're just recording these so we can refer back to them in maybe, what, five, six months. There's the second school and there's a pool here. Kids will be swimming here too. So we're in the adverse range. It's come down a bit. We're at 0.83 now. The non-thermals come down, actually 1.16. There's the tower there, just over that building. I don't know if people can see it right there. Yeah, I'm gonna... We're at 1.59. A lot of school kids are walking along here. That's another elementary school. That's their classroom, right, over there? Pardon me? Class, yeah. yeah, so they are the classrooms over there. Yeah, right? the classrooms are here too. Oh, so they are, they, these ones are the, in much... Yeah, there they are right yeah. there. So let's walk up to here. So we're at 1.59. The non-thermal has dropped a lot from there, but we're going to have to monitor that. which is beside is a junior high school. There's three schools? Yes, three so schools. There's a lot of kids involved. Yeah, a lot yeah. of kids around here. There's a pool here. Have a lot. Oh, there's Have people living window. in those apartments, obviously. There's small business. There's a church across the street. So it's, it's, it's quite an active area. And they decided to put a 5G tower right in the middle of it. There's the tower there. You can see it through there. You want to zoom in? Yeah. There it is there. So 
That tower is not at full capacity, but we're still in the adverse health range. We're at 1.28, which is more than double the adverse health level, especially for young kids. Oh, yeah. We're well, talking. They're, they're developing the brain, right? Yeah, we're talking five year olds, six year olds, four year olds. So let's keep moving. We're going to go to the tower and there's some interesting parts there. We've actually identified who's behind that tower. <laughs> Surprise! These four people that live here, right? Eh? Could yep. you imagine living here? Nope. Yeah. Yeah, they probably don't even know. A lot of people does not know anyway. Well, these are classrooms here. Look at that. Yes. These kids it are... Is. So we'll just do a reading here as we approach. All right. It. Yeah, so that's it. This, this. And, it, and it's going up quite a bit now. We're up to uh, 2.38. And 0.5 is the, basically the... 0.5 is the, the beginning of adverse health effects, non-thermal. And these include uh, cancer, blood disorders, even psychological, psychiatric oh, issues. Yeah. Yeah. You get a dizziness, Dizzy. headache. headache. Uh, child development is, is, is disrupted. Yep. We also know there's, uh, as you get into 5G, when you get up to 60 gigahertz, you're getting into severe oxidative stress. Oh, people yeah. people won't be able to breathe. No. So let's let's move a bit closer. Some people were talking just about uh, COVID. So this is a pretty uh, high radiation zone yeah. right now. We're at 2.86. But we're closer too. 2.86 and it's going up as we move closer. The very low see all those new components were added the third week of March those are all 5g components added to the the base antennas at the top of that thing oh my god we're at 6-0 right here oh my god oh my god this thing is just pumping it out now and it's at a base level oh. we're over 4300 now non-thermal which is well above the, the safe acceptable limit. safe limits and for public. Non 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 yeah. this, this is not 5G <clears throat> yet. This not thing yet. is maxed out. It's pulsating. How are you feeling? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. All right. You see that there? So because it's dark. It's completely, completely maxed out. Yeah, I just can't see now. It's completely maxed out. Let's move closer here. I'm a lot harder over here than over there. <laughs> <laughs> More you get close. Can you zoom in on these parts? Yes. I'm gonna put this here. Just, yeah, hold it steady. The camera. Try and try and hold it steady. Just, yes. just zoom in there. Nokia. There it is, Nokia. You see that? You can back up and just go like this. See that? That's it. So this is uh, this means it's this is a 5G system they added, and this is with Telus. Telus is using Nokia, and they're hoping to use some Huawei. And this is I'm just here. gonna back that up a bit. Here. Let's move around. A bit. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> Thanks. Let's zoom in here. Just yeah, we're gonna zoom in now. You see that there? This was all added to this tower. It's not yet operational, but that's 5G. You see all the components there. We've we've been on to Huawei site, we've been on to Ericsson site, and we've been 
onto the Nokia site. We've looked at their component parts. You can actually go buy them if you want. So there it is. And you hear, this is, this is what they added right here. That's the Nokia system. And we assume this is TELUS. Can you get that meter going? Just uh, just on the side there. It's and there's that there. This is a warning. So they're warning uh, uh, radio frequency radiation. It's a warning. So they're actually admitting that there's danger from this 5G tower right there. 570G. Yeah, yeah, this thing this thing this thing is over. This thing is off the charts. Look at the power output. It's completely off the charts here. But this isn't at full full capacity yet. 6, Six yeah. So we're going to zoom in just so you can get a better view. A lot of people are wondering, but this is a fairly small 5G tower, but you see all the component parts. You see that there. And then you, those rectangles at the top, those are the base antennas. Those are the white ones. The white ones at the top, yeah. This is what they're doing. Here comes our visual. <laughs> yeah. That's it there. That that container was there before. We think this was operating at 3G, 4G at one time. And then they upgraded it while everyone was in lockdown. Isn't that convenient? So we're gonna do one more reading on this thing. We're gonna go over to where these kids cross. Steady. Yeah, come over here. So kids walk right across here. Young little kids, see there's a wall. Yeah, they're all right around the store. There's and they and they go to the school. Corner. So let's see where we're at. You know the funny part about it is there's a health and wellness center right there. Yeah, of course. That's oh healthy. This is oh, wealthy. Oh my god. Oh really no. We're completely maxed out. Yeah. Uh, it's pulsating which is a dangerous biological component of this. It's maxed out at 6 ohm. It's peaking there. Yeah, not after I go down. The power output is over 4200. That's well over non-thermal safety range. Yeah, so this is very disturbing. And this is at, this uh, tower is in at full capacity by any stretch. Oh, by the end of this year, probably. Yeah, so we're gonna come back are you feeling okay, sir? Does, it, does it bother you, or if you're feeling anything? You're feeling dizzy? Oh my God! There's a young kid just proving our point. So I want to, I want to just finish this video. There's some misinformation that's been coming on our site. But when we talk about volts, I can volts, see it excuse me, volts per per meter, this is what's being emitted. So some people are saying a TV is 60 volts per meter. Well, it may be internally, but we went up and measured a, a flat screen TV with this and it measured up close 0. 0. 0.7 volts per meter. We got within two, three feet, it dropped down to 0. 0.2. Oh, so safe. it's a lot different. This is about emission of EMF radiation. And 24-7. And look at that young, young, nice young boy there, feeling dizzy from it. That's sad, man. That's sad, isn't it? Yeah. So it's going to harm people. It's going to harm people. Yeah. I can see the light. This is, a, this okay? is horrible. The poor kid. Okay, that's good. Thank you, everyone. Share this. There we are.